What's up guys? So I just wanted to make a video for, um, what's up guys? So here, I just wanted to make a video about foods that you should always have like within your fridge or your freezer, um, just so that you have it on deck. So if you ever are in an emergency or you're just like, oh, I want this, always kind of have that, um, backup in the back of your mind. So going into my freezer, something. So if, you are looking in here, you're going to see a variety of different things. I do not hate on any food. Um, so for example, if you want ice cream, it's definitely good to have ice cream if you're an ice cream uh, fanatic. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put this here for right now. Um, so things to always have are some vegetables, frozen vegetables that you can just pop in the microwave. Um, another thing too is to have frozen uh, fruits, so berries. Usually berries are more expensive um, and they come in and out of season. So if you like berries like year round, frozen berries are actually really good and they still hold their nutrient value. So do frozen vegetables. So these are just easy things to always have um, just in case, you know, you decide, oh, I want a smoothie. You can at least have the berries or, oh, I want broccoli with my side of fish and rice. You can definitely have that readily available. Something too to always have available is just some protein. protein. Um, so shrimp, shrimp is really good. Um, you can have a couple bags in here. Again, more berries for you. Um, if you are somebody that likes bagels, I normally go ahead and bulk buy bagels. So I get a variety or just a good handful of bagels and I just put them in the freezer and just keep them when I'm ready. So I don't like going to the grocery store a ton, um, only if I really, really need something. So I just get those so that I'm already prepared. Um, and that's pretty much like a good go-to breakfast, um, not only for me, but it's also a very go-to for my husband because he runs and goes in the morning. So bagels with peanut butter is his go-to and I usually recommend that because that's actually a really good breakfast. Um, and then from there, so again, frozen veggies. If you want to go ahead and get medleys or like stir fry veggies, that's also a good option as well, just so that you can kind of get creative. So if I were to see this, it kind of gets me getting, get thinking like, oh, I can actually make like a Asian stir fry, Asian medley. And sometimes they actually have like um, directions or recipes on the back of these. So these are really good to have. Um, another thing too, again, more frozen protein. Th protein. This is just frozen uh, tortilla crusted tilapia. So if you're somebody that just wants fish but doesn't want to go to the grocery store to get like fish slabs and don't want to also cook the fish slabs, you can get frozen fish as well. Just go for something that has good protein content, okay? So it's not bad to get frozen fish um, because, you, because you actually have the opportunity to just cook it, especially if you're on the go. Um, another thing as well that I like to have are just vegan options uh, because I like to go ahead and try to do meatless days or substitute meat for vegan or vegetarian options. At least, um, I would probably say I'm at least subbing meat um, probably three to four times a week. So I don't always eat meat. I try to find substitutes or I just do like a plant-based meal for that day um, or just attempt to go plant-based for that day if I can. Um, so that's pretty much what I have in my freezer. So again, just having frozen veggies, frozen fruits, frozen proteins, and then if you are somebody like a butter lover like uh, we are, um, you can just have frozen peanut, I'm sorry, frozen butter. Um, and then also if you like, if you like these guys, if you like tater tots, I keep these in the back just because if you decide to have like a burger one day or you have burger patties that are frozen, such as I do here, you at least have that little tater tot side if you want to have tater tots. Um, but that's how I keep my fridge or my freezer stocked. I don't normally have um, a ton of sweets like ice cream. I do have ice cream in there majority of the time, but I don't like fill it with other frozen junk. I usually have uh, veggies, fruits, and then, you know, tater tots and protein for sure. So I don't have to go continuously run to the grocery store. And it's also a really great place to store bread if you know you're not gonna be able to use that bread in time. So now we're gonna move on. Um, also, if you wanna get like little, I get vegan meals. Um, this is another good option for you if you want to have something readily available that you can just pop in the microwave. Um, I shop at Aldi, so this is where I usually get my vegan meals because they're cheap and they also have really good variety there. So that's my freezer. 
And then going into my fridge, you'll notice again that I do have a variety of different things. Um, the biggest thing that I would recommend having is milk. Also, if you want to do alternative milk, you can also have your alternative milk. Um, that's always really good to have on deck if you are a milk drinker. Um, something to have too, so this is my prepare, prepared vegetables. Um, I do have a pre prepared vegetable video, um, so you can go ahead and watch that. I'll link that here in the video. Um, but something to always have on backup as well is I usually have egg whites already stored just in case I run out of eggs. Um, and then I have eggs. Always get a good amount of produce. Um, get produce that you really like. So something I always have on deck is avocados, tomatoes, and spinach. So those are the three um, produce vegetable options that I always have. And then usually, most of the time I'll have like celery or carrots as well. Uh, but those are the three go-to, spinach, avocado, and tomatoes. Um, and then um, I also have onions stored in my pantry. Um, but those are just produce that go in the fridge. Um, and then something too, if you are somebody that likes mayonnaise, mayonnaise is a good condiment to have, and then so is mustard. Um, again, when it comes to condiments, just learning serving size and learning how to read the nutrition label. So I have a nutrition label video describing to you what to have or what to read on your nutrition facts. Um, and then again, I also have produce in here. So I have more berries here just because they're in season right now. But I do have veg or I'm sorry, I do have uh, refrigerated fruits and vegetables so that I'm not having to like defall anything. Usually I use the frozen fruits and vegetables for last minute things such as a smoothie or a last minute side for a dinner. Um, but if I can go ahead and just use fresh produce, I will do that. Um, and then I have water containers because I don't have a water dispenser, so I have water filled. And then I give myself a variety. Um, I have juice here. Chocolate milk is really for my husband, um, but that's just something to have in the back. So if you ever get tired of water, it's okay to drink a juice every now and again. But the main thing you need to be and keep in mind is that you always need to have more water than you're drinking of milk, juice, teas, etc. Water is super important. Um, and then another thing I always have go to readily available is yogurt. So yogurt is really good to have on deck as well. And then hot sauce. If you are a hot sauce lover, just like I am, so is my husband, we always have hot sauce readily available in our fridge. Um, but pretty much that's it. So I would recommend having your milk, your eggs if you want eggs, egg whites for backups just in case. Um, get yourself a variety of different drinks because it does get boring sometimes and if you want to have chocolate milk or milk Whatever you at least have that readily available. So it's not about getting rid of things It's just about learning how to eat in moderation and learning to consume the serving size um, And then your frozen. I'm sorry your prepared veggies, which I do have a video on that and then cheese If you do like cheese go ahead and have your options of cheese so that you're not having to like, oh, I don't have cheese, okay? So have your cheese. And then my vegetables are fully stocked. So I have both trays fully stocked of vegetables. But again, I would encourage you to get things that you like first. And then once you start broadening your taste in veggies, then you can start stack, stack, blah, blah. Then you can start stocking up on veggies. Um, but that's pretty much it for right now. Um, another good go-to if you like hummus, I usually have hummus already, it's already prepared. I just go ahead and buy that and just have that readily available. So if I want a snack, I can have something to snack on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you what I have in my freezer, in my fridge, things to have on the go, um, just so that your fridge is not empty, nor is your freezer, and you're using it for actually good foods and not just storing drinks or to-go boxes. So I hope you guys enjoy and um, Make sure you like this video. If you want to subscribe for more videos, you can definitely do that. I'm going to close this before it gets mad at me. Um, and then again, this channel is to teach you how to feel confident in the food choices that you make. And then also teach you how to enjoy life. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.